Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. We need to clean up the moons in the Bowser Kingdom, so let's go over to the boss arena, which is now looking very, very nice actually, surprisingly. And I believe somewhere around here, uh, probably where these birds are, I can feel it. I can feel something, I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, but somewhere around here should be a Power Moon. So let's grab that. Probably could have seen it on my compass if I paid attention to my compass ever. But anyway, let's also do this timer challenge, which is very interesting. It's this get to the top of this area thing within the time loop, but it's also got all the moving parts of it, which is cool. But anyway, there we go. Let's head on down. Let's go down this pipe. Got a secret area. We've got these things here. Those little statue things we can take control of. They move slowly unless we hold the Y button, which makes them move a little bit faster. And I believe we can also shake to make them move even faster, faster, faster. But anyway, let's leave that on that button so we can do everything over here that we need to. Can't break anything here, but we can step onto this rock here and break that, I guess. Now is this... Okay, that's just these Goombas. Let's go up this elevator. Grab these coins while we're here, I guess. Also, does the design change? Yeah, it does. That's cool. It makes it actually be Mario. So now we need to just need to take it across here. And now we have two of these statues, so... Oh, just going to put that on there. And let's see if I can get this one. Actually, I think we can take one over here, but also we need to just get this one by itself. Just need to be careful not to accidentally just walk straight off the edge. But these statues can go on the spikes, which is nice since they're statues and can't really take damage from spikes. Okay, let's make that appear. And now, if I can get these other two across, we can activate these switches. Come on, here we go. I love the, the way that they can be jumping on top of the switch and not activate it. Like, they activate it and unactivate it at the same time. Now, I believe there's something else that we need to do. But I can't remember what. Yeah, let me take the statue back this way, I think. Possibly. Yep. Because there's a secret switch back this way. Which is very easy to miss. Which allows us to get that moon there. As long as we can get there without... Um, falling into the death. Which is fairly simple enough, so we just need to long jump across that, I guess. Not even using Cappy. Grab that. Jizo? Jizo? And the hidden room. I, I don't I don't know. But anyway. Let's go through there. Now, are there any other moons here? I'm not entirely sure, but there might be. I think there's some purple coins here somewhere that I need to get. Yeah, over there. There's also just, I think, hearts that you can get from the underground, possibly. There could also just be some of the regular moons that I haven't collected yet around here somewhere, but I'm just going to be fine with how it is right now. There's a spot on the ground around here that shakes when you stand on it. I think something might be buried there. Already did that. Let's head this way, I guess, then. We've still got a little bit more to do at the very top of the level. Just a little bit down. And actually, I don't know. No, I can't. I have to go down. Normally. There's also the Koopa free running here that we can do. I'm going to hold off on that just for a little bit. Let's go over here because there's a... Uh, there's a... Uh, what's it called here? A Lakitu. 
for some Lakitu fishing in this poison. Because obviously, fish are in poison. Is that the big fish? I don't think it is. I think there are two big fish in this somewhere. A small, small ones, regular ones, I don't know. I could be wrong. That might just be the one. No, I feel like there is more. There's also purple coins that we can get using this Lakitu. Um, under the bridge here. Now, are there any more over here that I might have missed? Doesn't look, look like it, so I'm just going to head over to where I believe the big fish is then. As long as there aren't two. And here it is right here. Just need to get it. Which is easier said than done, considering how good I am at fishing. There we go. Oh, it's, uh, Poochie. Just because it's Poochie. Fishing, question mark, in Bowser's Castle? So there must be a second one, then. If we got Poochie, there must be a second one. Like an actual fish somewhere. Um... It's probably just one of the regular moons. Because I don't think it's going to show up on the map. Those are regular fish. Am I crazy? Maybe there's only the one. I don't know. I'll, I'll come back if there's another one. I can. But we can take this Lakitu over to this little platform over here, which allows us to explore a little bit more. Just pop out there. What just happened? And there's actually some stuff up here. Mainly these, these purple coins and that moon down there. But also, if we knock this sign and break a perfectly beautiful sign. We get a power moon. Knocking down the nice frame. It was a nice frame, but now it's not because I destroyed it. Okay, let's get the other power moon. Above the poison swamp. This just takes us back up here. So I think that's everything up here, probably, unless there's a, there is actually a fish, which I'm still not sure about. I feel like there is, but I don't know. I don't know. It's not here. Also, the Lakitu is not here either now. That one's definitely not big. I don't know. I think I'm fine. Let's just do this timer challenge here, which looks interesting. Just have to jump all the way down and grab this. And then... Grab that quickly. There we go. Very nice. I think that's all the moons up this part of the level, except for the Cooper Free Running. So let's do that. And then see about the rest of the moons in the level. Let's race, dude. I'm in. Are you in? The purple won't be in after this race. So, we have to go from all the way up here, down to the very beginning. <laughs> Which shouldn't be too bad. Most of it is the, um, the wires. Very nice. Long jump for the run, and then triple jump to extend the run. Grab that, and go. This one's a fairly long one, not gonna lie. And I think if I... I feel like I could go the upper path to make this go by faster, but also no. Just go like that. Keep going, please. This is a long, long one. It's a good thing that the other uh, competition 
isn't even here yet. I wonder how far behind me they are, or if they are actually keeping up. This may be just the easiest one since there's so much area to catch up. Also, this is open now because reasons. There's a switch here that you're supposed to hit. But it's open while you're doing the race. 1 minute 31 seconds. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be way behind. I'm just going to wait to see how long to the first one shows up. Which may be a while, apparently. There we go. He made it. It's just been 30 seconds since I finished. Something like that. But anyway, I have to do it again and do it against the uh, the gold Koopa Trooper. And purple's gone forever now, pretty much. I don't know if there's... I think there are more... Uh, Koopa free running to do. So he, he will come back, but not in this one, so. Let's -a go. See if I can beat my time, which is doubtful because I can always. I always do the best on the first run. Oh, that's actually not that good because I can't actually make this skip extremely well from this position. But I can actually stop. Properly. I tried to do what the Gold Cooper Trip was doing, which is not actually that great, because he doesn't do the long jump straight over to the platform. Let's go. I think I'm going a little bit slower this time, which is not not surprising me at all. Oh go go. Just don't don't stay on the thing, Mario. Just go. Not sure if that was faster. Not if I do that. Oh, I went straight through that bomb, I'm pretty sure. That's fine. I didn't need that anyway. This guy's like trying to do something, I guess, but he's not really that much of a problem. Go, 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 go! I'm almost at the end. If I can do it in a few more seconds, I'll have done it faster than the previous run. But nope, I died! So that's really not faster than the previous run. Now, yeah, try again, because I fell directly off the edge. Well, at least I can redo my start, at least. Get a better split time on the first area. Just gonna long jump straight off. Then wait to the last second and then bounce out of here. Oh, that was amazing. The rolling is definitely gonna make this faster. Yeah, definitely like three seconds faster than I was previously. Just because I was rolling. Can't really roll there too easily. I think it's faster to go over that. Nice roll. That was a brilliant roll. Oh my goodness. Because I was on the slope, so it made me roll way better. Way faster to roll like that. That was not what I was trying to do. Oh my goodness, my time save. My time save. I was, like, five seconds green. Okay, grab that please, thank you. We're at the end now, so that's pretty good. And let's roll to the end here. To save a little bit more time. 126. Very, very nice. I'm very happy to break my record on that. Now to wait another 15 seconds for Gold Coop Trooper. Just to see how far ahead I was since I was doing so well. There was a few points in that that I could have done a little bit better. But there we go. 
blazing fast. <laughs> just blazing? I was literally melting from the heat of how fast I was going. Anyway, let's see. I think we've done everything up here for now, so let's just jump straight down like we have for the race. <laughs> let's go pretty much to the halfway point of the level, actually. Oh, that was a good unintentional dive. So, on these platforms here, this is where, um, this is where shaking motion controls is going to be very useful for collecting these notes. Like, even trying to spin to grab all these is not that effective, so you have, you really need to be able to have motion control so you can just throw Cappy and have him go in different directions, targeting everything here. I might even still miss that. Nope, got it first try because I used motion controls. That one is annoying without motion controls. If I haven't mentioned already, use motion controls for that, that cappy throwing there. Because it makes everything so much easier. Anyway, let's take this guy out. This is kind of a boss type thing. You have to hit it twice and then it dies, but there we go. It gives you Goombas so you can get high enough to jump onto it, but you can just ground pound and then cap bounce dive. So there we go. Also, they put the moons on top of these platforms where the Bowser statues used to be. Which is very cool. Now, let's go... Probably... Up here. And take this wire. Way over this way. There we go. Let's take these things out. Please. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. And then, once we get rid of them all... Power Moon. I don't think there are any second... I don't think there's a second Power Moon on this area over here, unless it's in one of the blocks, but the block would be glowing if there was, so I don't think so. I love the colored clouds in this level as well. Anyway, while we're here, let's go down here and grab this thing. Because when we use this thing and move around, we can go across this, this, uh, these rock pebble things on the ground. Sand? Question mark? And I believe if we take it somewhere, there's glowing points that we can see only when we're using this capture. And somewhere, probably on the other side, which we can get to by going up these stairs, is a power moon for us. Somewhere. Have to just get the right one, though. Which may take a while. I'd recommend shaking the controller to make it go faster, which is easier with Joy-Cons detached. Come on, surely one of these ones. Life up heart, okay. And... no. Am I wrong about that? Maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm sure, though. I'm, like, super sure that that was a power moon. Maybe it is on the other side and I just missed it somehow. Because you can take it around the place, so it should have something somewhere. Right? Maybe if I take it up here. I'm, like, almost too sure about this. I think I'm actually wrong. It has been a while since I 100% of the game, so it might just be wrong. I'm okay with being wrong because it means I don't have to use this thing much longer. So let's get rid of that and let's go over here because we need to get that key at the end of this line of flags. And these flags actually count as poles. Gaining height as we jump between them. I don't want to get too high, I don't think. Otherwise, I might accidentally do something wrong. So let's grab that key. And now we need to get back. And this camera is not wanting to make this easy. For some reason. But there we go. Grab that. Jumping from flag to flag. 
Let's go up here. Maybe? No, I already got those. And I thought there was actually something else there, but I guess not. And I guess we can head down now. Doing really well. Here's Peach. Bowser's Castle, I think this is the first time I've ever come here on my own two feet. Whatever it is, uh, whatever it's history, this simple, this castle is simply splendid. And a power moon fell down from the sky, you should probably take it. Peach in Bowser's Kingdom. Okay, so let's look around here just a little bit. I believe if I crouch down here, I can get these purple coins in here. And there's a room that we can get into it in a minute, possibly. Probably a little bit longer than a minute to get into there, but we have these statues here as well. So we can add this one to the lineup, if possible, maybe. Gonna have to leave it there so we can grab the moon. Gizo, all in a row. Let's grab it again, and let's take it over to this rock over here. Which means, well, the, the rock platform there, which means we can go down here. And get another moon. Okay. I think that's everything here right now. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll come back for the shop at some other point. So let's head further down, since there's a lot of stuff down here we have to do. Still. So let's get up here for this moon. And there's a lot of purple coins over here that I skipped over earlier. From the skies above the castle gate. I got most of the moons over here at least. I wanted to make sure I had enough so I could go straight to the moon. Once we did the boss fight. Just gonna drop down here. Ooh, that was close. Grab that please, and let's go up. And I don't think there's anything else over here to worry about. But I will take this bird with me a little bit more. Get these purple coins. Actually, I think I can grab those with the beak, probably. If I get close enough. Yep, cool. Well, let's just get rid of this then. <laughs> Straight into the fire, oh my goodness. There's a little secret wire here, which allows us to grab, jump down and grab this key. And then quickly grab the wire again. And there we go. Another power moon. Stone wall circuit. Now, let's see. Did I get these purple coins? I probably got those purple coins. Yes, I got those purple coins. I think that's everything on this island. As long as I got all of the regular moons and purple coins. So let's keep going down now. And I definitely didn't get everything on this area yet. I need one of the birds. And also... I don't think there's any over this way. But I will need one over this way. Grab those purple coins. I think if I go over to this side, I can get one of the birds. Down here, yep. There's also some notes to take and some holes in the walls. Just all over the place. Poking your nose in the plaster wall. Nice. I don't even know how I got all of those at the end there. It just seemed to work. Taking notes on the wall. Grab these purple coins. Okay.
And now, if we go all the way over here, there's another hole in the wall. For another moon. It's just a bit out of the way, but that's okay, because it's a fairly easy one to get, as long as you get over here. Behind the tall wall, poke, poke. That's how you have to say it, right? Just gonna jump over here. Oh wow, that doesn't hold me in the air as long as I thought it would with the second poke. And I believe another one of these holes? No, okay. That's fine. I thought that one of those holes actually was open, but nope. I think that's everything on this island as well. There is a moon in the air on this thing over here, so let's just press the button so we get that one like that. Which is a really cool mechanic. Just like that, and let's get this one down here as well. A lot of easy ones, actually, at the moment. Behind the big wall. Let's head on up. We've almost got all the purple coins, just a few more left. Seven more. So that's probably a group of three and a group of four. Ah, uh, they might be over here. So let's head over here then. And I probably want to start off by hitting that switch so that we can walk back here without having to redo a ton of things. Very nice. Okay, and there's a uh, four purple coins here. There's also a glowing bird at the end of this thing, which means you have to go very slowly up to it and then highly recommended with motion controls, throw Cappy. Oh, nope. Have to walk away now to have it respawn and also turn around. This one is annoying. I don't think I can. Oh, I can kind of crouch crawl ish thing here. And using the compass as a bit of a guide for how close I can get to it before it disappears. Let's try to get into the. It, as close to that middle ring as possible, that little dark ring on the compass. I think the arrow is actually probably my throwing arc, right? Ah, <sighs> my goodness. Can I... How fast does it respawn if I turn around like that? Just like that. Cool. Good. Get a little bit closer than it was before. Okay, I think this is as close as I can get. If the hat icon is above it, that's probably good. But anyway, if we hit that, we get the small bird in the Bowser's castle. So there we go. And I don't... I think there's another one over here. Also, I must... I must have missed three purple coins somewhere. Because there aren't any here by the looks of it. Which is concerning. Is there somewhere that I didn't go? Just thinking. Out loud. Was there somewhere that I didn't go? Ah, uh, not really. <laughs> Wish I could see purple coins after a certain point in time. It looks like I'm going to have to go through again to see if I can find things. It looks like I got all the rest of the uh, moon block moons. But now I need to find the rest, so. Let's buy some hints. Yes, I know about... There's like three there. I probably shouldn't buy those hints now that I'm thinking about it. But where am I missing three purple coins? Wait, I know exactly where... A moon is, and also purple coins, possibly? I don't know. I know that there's a moon that I didn't get, but I was saving it just for a little bit longer. So if we go all the way down here, and grab this, uh, poke, 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 pop, I don't even know what it's called anymore. I might also be too low. That's fine, I can just walk back up again. It's fine. Because I believe it's on this side of the wall thing that I missed it. Let's land up there, please. Thank you. Okay. Please don't fall off the edge. So, right down here, we're apparently meant to just jump down there. Grab this. Pokeo bird here. Now, is there purple coins here? Please. There's a moon here, but is there purple coins? 
Um, it's not looking good. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I don't even know how I grabbed that. But anyway, there's this moon here. So it's not the purple coins here, okay. Past the moving wall. Um, hold on. I can't even do that properly with that particular sound. Um, where, where, where's the purple coins? Where's the purple coins? I did get these purple coins down here, right? Yes, okay. Um, I think I got all of the ones on that wall. Maybe I missed three on that wall. Now that I think about it, possibly. It's not over here. If it's not on that wall, then I don't know where else these pepper coins could be. So I think they're on there. So I'm going to probably head down then. Probably. Oh my goodness, I nearly fell off just now. So let's take one of these Pokeo things then. And check down here. I don't think there are any in the water, are there? Hang on. Are there some, like, right there? Nice. That's all the purple coins. And I think that's all the moons up here as well. So let's head over to the shop then. Oh, so much of this level is complete now. It's lovely. But anyway, I also think that's also it for now. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.